Hello everybody and welcome back. This is the first part of the making of a bench top mini lathe that I'm trying to make at home. In this part I've made the bed of the lathe and uh, I have to say that the first attempt was a pretty failure. My first idea was to weld together two C bars with a flat bar and a series of ribs. But uh, my poor welding skills led to severe distortion despite many people seem to do their DIY lathes bed this way. I've decided to, uh, to weld and fillet uh, this, play, this, um, this flat uh, uh, bar and uh, to weld uh, this uh, two, uh, two small bars here and uh, that was a big mistake because uh, the parts uh, get distorted and uh, rise this way so uh, it uh, it was a source of frustration and um, and uh, it seem uh, it seem I have to throw away everything <laughs> um, I thought uh, to scrap the parts and start over again uh, with maybe a different design uh, also well eventually I have decided to start over again and uh, uh, with the occasion to uh, change the design uh, of the of the machine and um, uh, uh, I've decided to uh, weld uh, this 25 by 25 millimeters bars uh, on top of this uh, um, flat uh, bar. Uh. Corrections would have just led to an unsatisfactory patched machine. On the old piece, the thickness of this wall is too thin, and even with the reinforcing flat bar, it remains something, well, just patched. I don't like it. So I started with a new design too, with uh, a really thick shoulder made with a 25 by 25 millimeter welded on a flat 10 by 100 millimeter and a tilted bar to form a triangle of uh, which the void would be filled with the concrete to help damp vibrations. And the problem with welding, uh, well, okay, my welds are pretty ugly, <laughs> don't care, please, uh, but um, the problem with welding is uh, the formation. Uh, and despite my efforts uh, to avoid this uh, by first uh, welding here, then here, then here, then here, then here, and then in the middle, alternating the positions, um, uh, I had uh, a little deformation in this way, a little bow uh, in this way, uh, maybe a couple of millimeters, uh, one or two millimeters um, of deformation, uh, bowing this the, the, the part in this way. Uh, maybe this is because this uh, part is uh, larger and they have more mass than this one and uh, uh, this uh, when welded and heated this uh, push uh, the, the part in this direction so uh, and, and uh, we force the part below its bow I think <laughs> and this is my, my guess so the next step is to weld these two parts together and this way also this one has been weathered a little bit uh, off uh, of square oh. uh, but that would be not uh, a big deal because uh, the, the, the interior part with the interior bed would be planned out uh, at the end. Uh, it's pretty out of the square. Really, really, pretty out of the square. Oh, shit. This part is very. 
So the next part is to weld the these two. The next step is to weld these two parts together. With a flat bar in the middle, like this way. And uh, uh, and with the occasion is to one would be pressed in this way uh, to try to, uh, to to correct the bow to correct the bow that the, the yeah that is a problem this is a problem because it is really really out of square what the fuck is happening I don't know uh, could cut this and try to weld it again. Mm. Uh, it's, it's really a pain in the ass. Where the parts are clamped together and uh, uh, to keep the, the two bars uh, nice and square, and uh, all these. Uh, segments uh, uh, are used to connect uh, the two parts uh, that will be welded together. Well, I was pretty lucky because after clamping the, these two parts together and uh, welding the, the, this um, transverse, after welding this, uh, uh, I don't know how to call them <laughs> these parts. Uh, uh, the the it went uh, pretty uh, straight, uh, and uh, I was lucky. <laughs> it is straight middle, and this is really straight, really really heavy heavy. This is the top, um, and here in this direction, it is decently, decently straight. However, in this direction, I have uh, a little gap here and here, uh, but this will be corrected after the uh, this part will be planed out with a milling machine. After welding the fit, uh, the bed is almost finished and ready to be planted out. Uh, I, I think uh, the, the, I, I would bring this uh, to the milling machine eventually. However, uh, this will be uh, something that we'll, I will show in the next video. Uh, so for now, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.